Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Running on the right track. I know we never gonna look back. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Sam and welcome to our little YouTube family we've got going on here. I have recently well, I put up a poll on my Instagram a few days ago and I asked if or does anybody know how to cook or prepare their boiled eggs in the instant pot and i got a lot of people who didn't know or would like to learn how so in today's video i'm just going to be showing you how i boil my eggs in the instant pot for many many years i um, did them on the stove you know you put your water in there you bring it to a boil you put your eggs in there you let it cook for 10 minutes and you let it sit for 10 minutes and cool and yada 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 and it takes a very long time to prepare eggs on the stove and when I bought my instapot a few years ago I discovered that you can cook your eggs in the instapot so that's how I've been doing it ever since and it's very easy. You don't need that many components or ingredients. It's very, very easy. And today I'm just gonna show you how I do that. So let's get on into the video. Okay guys, I've got my Instapot here and I've got it plugged in and turned on and it's ready to go. Um, it's not set for any specific time. It's still cold, it's just on. I've got my trivet here. This is just the one that come with it. I'm just going to place this down inside the little uh, basket here. And then all you're gonna need is one cup of water. You're just going to pour that in. Now, since my trivet has holes in it, um, especially the middle here it's got a big hole in it and you can't really put an egg there um, all I've got is just this little piece of aluminum foil this is what I use for my eggs I just um, made it into a circle and you just pop that down in there and this just allows the eggs to sit on top but if you have a different steamer basket you can use that um, just whatever you have on hand but this is what I do and then you're gonna need some eggs now you can use whatever eggs that you like um, I just use plain regular eggs for my boiled eggs and you're just going to put them down on the trivet I'm just going to do four because I've already got some prepared so as you see I've got four eggs I've got four eggs in the Instapot here and you're just going to place them um, just around the little pot here on the trivet to where it's um, they're really not touching but it really doesn't matter if they're touching or not just put them in there what you're going to do now is you're going to attach the lid just attach the, <laughs> attach the lid the struggles you're gonna set it to sealing okay and then you're just gonna come over here to um, your manual you're gonna hit manual and it's going to show 10 minutes on there but you're gonna go down to one you're gonna go down to one minute and then just leave it alone it will um, come up it will pressurize and um, cook your eggs so we're gonna let that cook for one minute it's gonna take about one to two minutes for it to come to pressure and then it's gonna count down the minute and then it's going to do a um, pressure release you're gonna want to um, let this let the pressure release on its own for five to ten minutes it just depends on you um, I have noticed that if I do it for five minutes, the um, the yolks are just slightly done, which is okay. That it doesn't bother me. 
but if I let it release for 10 minutes it's pretty much done and there's no green ring around the egg that's why I like doing it in the instapot because it helps with that um, but yeah we're gonna let this cook and I will see you back in just a few okay this has been cooking for one minute and it's been releasing for two minutes and while I'm waiting I'm just going to go ahead and make me some ketones. This is from Prove It. You can see that. This is the Key Lime. This is one of my favorites and I order it on a regular basis. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make me some ketones. All you got to do is um, just fill up a shaker cup of ice and water. Open your little pack here. And you can do a half a pack or a whole pack. Um, it just depends on where I'm at during the day. If in the morning I will do um, the charged, at, in the afternoon I will do the caffeine free. But today I'm just going to do the charged. And I think I'm just going to do a half a pack today. Add a little bit down in there. And you can just um, fold this up and put a little clip on it and save it for later or you can um, save it for the next day or whenever you want it you can store it in the freezer fridge or in the pantry now you just add your little shaker top um, you don't have to have the shaker ball you don't need it because it um, when you shake it up it mixes really well with your water then you just um, add the lid and just shake it up. That's it, you guys. That's that's all. Mm. These things are so good, and they help you get into ketosis faster. So, plus they give you a boost of energy. I love drinking these before like I clean the house or I do a workout or anything like that. So I'm just going to drink this, wait on this to finish um, pressure releasing and I will see you back in just a bit. Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes and it is done um, pressure releasing. As you can tell, there's no more um, pressure in there. So you're just going to remove your lid away from you always remove the lid away from you so that way you do not get burned or anything like that we don't want that to happen so just open it away from you now you're just going to remove the eggs I've got a bowl of ice water here so you're just going to remove these Carefully place them in a bowl of ice water. And now you're just going to let these sit until they cool. This usually takes between 10 to 15 minutes depending on how you like them. But I'm just going to let these sit for about 10 minutes. To 15 minutes just to cool down and um, then we'll come back and I will and, and you can peel them after that and I will show you how I peel these and I will show you how I store them super simple okay guys <clears throat> the eggs are done they have been cooling for about 15 minutes and what I have here is just my eggs that's in the water and I have a paper towel this is just for easy cleanup and all you're going to do is pretty much self-explanatory you're just going to take your eggs and you're going to crack them and then you're just going to peel them if you leave the eggs in the ice water for about 15 minutes um, to allow the eggs to completely cool down it's going to make the peeling of the eggs 
super easy. And they're just going to come off very, very easily. And then you can just take them and rinse them off in the ice water. And just um, peel them like that. I'm just going to finish peeling these real quick. Now, when you're peeling your eggs, be very careful when you're peeling them because you don't want to take off any of the um, the white part of the egg. So just peel them as carefully as possible. If you don't want to um, cook your eggs in the Instapot, um, this is how I like to cook them on the stove. You just set your eggs in your pot, whatever pot that you want to cook them in. And then you fill your pot up with water just until it covers the eggs by about half an inch because you want all of your eggs to be covered in the cooking process and then you're just going to remove the eggs back out of the water and just set them aside you're going to put the stove uh, the um, the pot on the stove and you're going to turn that to about medium medium to medium high heat just until it starts to boil when it starts to boil I put one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or you can use regular vinegar. This is just something that I've always done. This is something that my grandmother has done. Um, just uh, bring your water up to a boil, put in about a teaspoon of vinegar. Um, if it's apple cider vinegar, you can use that or you can use just plain white vinegar. And then let that... Um, boil for one to two minutes and then you're going to use a slotted spoon or a um, slotted spoon to like a um, something that you would get hot food out of oil with just a slotted spoon like that's fine and then you're going to carefully um, place your egg in the spoon and then carefully put it in the water and then you're going to let that boil for about 10 minutes and when that is done you're going to cut off the heat put a lid on it and let it steep for 10 minutes okay after you can use a timer if you want to I do that all the time but um I pretty much got it figured out on how long to, to leave them in there and how long to cook them. But you can set a timer for 10 minute cook time, 10 minute steep time. After the steep time is up, you're going to use that same slotted spoon and you're, or you can use a pair of tongs. Um, and then you're just going to put those eggs in an ice bath and you're going to let them sit for 15 minutes. This, um, I have found is the perfect time for me to where it does not give you the green ring around your eggs like the yolk how it gets that green hue to it um, I've never had a problem doing it this way so if you don't have an instapot that's another way that you can do it just like I said bring your water up to a boil add your vinegar in there carefully put your eggs in there let it cook for 10 minutes cut the heat off and then let it steep for 10 minutes. Um, what the cooking time does is it cooks the outside of the egg. And what the steep time does is it gently warms through and cooks the yolk part of the egg. So it's a gentle cook. And then you can just, after that 10 minute steep time, just 
put them in an ice bath, let them set for 15 minutes, and then you can peel them. They're very, very easy to peel. They're um, about peeling, you know, like these. They're very easy to peel. And then you can just store them however you want. Like these, I just store these in a plastic container. This is the plastic container that I use. I've had this thing for years. Um, it's just a, this is the Ziploc brand. It's just the screw top. And this helps so much at keeping your refrigerator not smelling like boiled eggs. I hate opening a refrigerator and the entire refrigerator smells like boiled eggs, especially around the holidays when you do um, like the deviled eggs. I'm not going to open your refrigerator during the holidays. So you just open this and you can just place your eggs down in there like this. And they keep really, really well. Um, I make a batch of a dozen at, on every Sunday and that way we can just have them in the refrigerator whenever we want like a snack or um, if my daughter comes home and she she's hungry she can get one of these and snack on it um, so that way she's not going straight to the pantry for like sweets and stuff. She loves having these as an afternoon snack. Um, my husband likes to eat these. I make um, egg salad out of these. If you would like a re if you would like a video on how I make my egg salad, um, just leave me a comment down below and I will do that for you guys. It's pre it pretty much tastes like a deviled egg in a in a bowl or whatever. Um but yeah, that's how I like to make these eggs. This is how I store them. They last really well in the refrigerator. Um, so you can just pop them out whenever you need to. Or you can um, pop them in a to-go lunch travel pack and take them to work. Whatever you want to do, that is up to you. But this is how I like to do it. It's very, very easy. And um, if you make yours in an Instapot... Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you make them in, you know, on the stove. Let me know how you make them on the stove. I would love to hear all of your input on all of this. So, yeah. This is how I paired it. Um, I've just got some avocado. This is a whole avocado. It's good to get your fats in on keto. Um, this is just a healthy fat. And then I've got two boiled eggs, and I've just sprinkled some lemon juice all over the top of all of it, especially on my avocado. And then I just um, sprinkled on some seasoning salt um, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. I like the crunch that the bagel seasoning gives it. It gives it a lot of flavor. The seasoning salt pairs really well with avocado. If you've not tried it, I recommend you try it. Especially lemon juice. Um, I love putting lemon juice on my eggs. It gives it a ton of flavor and it's very good for you. So yeah, this is how I paired it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down below. It would mean so much to me if you did. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my videos. I'm just going to go enjoy this and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!